my name is Claudio Uglieri. Um, I'm a Spanish designer. I work at Fantasy Interactive in San Francisco. And uh, what do I do? I, I design, I create solutions, platforms for big clients, normally small clients, it really doesn't matter. Uh, and I drive the team at Fantasy Interactive. Being part of a, of a company, Finance Interactive, it feels good. I mean, it's, you know, it, it's work. Um, it's, uh, it's amazing in the sense of like, you get to work for amazing clients. Uh, it feels good that you have like, it's a fairly small company. That means that you actually have the opportunity to like put your vision into your work. Um, and overall, you know, it's like a bunch of like really smart uh, people you have to deal with every single day. Uh, and that's, that's a great feeling. They force you st to step it up. Our conference is about the future. It's about how digital interfaces are gonna be used in the future, how that relationship is gonna evolve. And you know, hopefully what I'm, what I'm hoping people will get from it uh, is uh, I would like to like, help them uh, maybe not focus on today's constraints, but actually help them create in the future and kind of like the future, the, the internet of tomorrow, we will say. So at Fantasy Interactive, or even at Be Real before, um, we, we work with like really big clients and normally really, really, really big um, projects. I mean like, like dot coms, like portals, uh, you know, project of that magnitude. Um, is, I think the challenge is always the communication. You know, someone said that communication is what makes a company successful. Uh, when you have to deal with gazillion stakeholders, you have to deal with a group of designers and developers spread all over the world. Uh, that's where the challenge comes in. So like, I, I'm not gonna point out a single project, but I'll just say that, you know, when dealing with those massive organizations, you have to be really, really, really organized yourself. It's, you know what, I'd say it's not that much from my perspective about, um, the limitations um, of the technology. It's about the idea. The idea is what will take your project, you know, will, will like make your project um, special or it will make you feel better than, than some of the else, uh, you know, some of the project with the same goals. Um, browser limitations, I mean, obviously are there, but they shouldn't be uh, the factor that will drive your project, if that makes sense. pencil and a notebook. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, the tools matter. So like I'm, uh, I, I heard that, you know, last week uh, Photoshop turned 25. Uh, so like that made me realize how old I am because it's been a while I'm using Photoshop. Um, but you know, Photoshop, it's definitely like one of those um, tools. When I started working, I, I was a Flash developer. So like it's, you know, there's no Flash any, any longer, not the way we used it before. Um, so like, uh, yeah, nowadays that you have Sketch coming up, um, but it gets to a point where it's not, again, it's not that much about the technology or the tools you go to. It's more about how you structure your workflow. Um, so I will be using After Effects if I need to. I will be using Sketch if I have to. Or I'll be using Photoshop, but that doesn't really matter anymore, I think. I expect them to be, to have a longer battery life, hopefully. I expect them to be uh, more friendly. I expect them to be human. Uh, and I expect them to be emotional. I feel there's a big disconnection between uh, technology and people these days. Like you serve content based on, uh, you know, not rigid factors like your location or how old you are or, um, you know, where you come from or, you know, like what your gender is or whatever, but no one is serving you content depending on how you feel. How would you consume content if you will know, uh, or how will, be, uh, how will content will be served to you 
if you know whoever is providing that content knows you you know depress or you just woke up let's think about that um you know through the years so i i moved to the uk in 2008 and then moved to new york in 2010 so i had the opportunity to work with people from all over the world it's just amazing you know how culture or how um you know your early years learning will define how you behave later on in your life right or like where your creativity will come from so i can you know i can point out to like some people let's say from uh, my friend Yue, for example, he's from Taiwan. So like, he has some crazy ideas, you know, like you're dealing with one person that, you know, his background is completely different than yours. Um, so like, that is probably the most amazing experience. So that's, for me, is one of the most important sources, dealing with people with different backgrounds, uh, that they will always like, you know, trigger something different on, on your brain. Then when it comes to like, um, you know, looking for inspiration, I love video games. I play video games all the time. Um, you know, like apart from like normal sources like Dribble or Behance, um, some of the sources I try myself just because I deal with people from all over the world. I try to like visit. I always ask them like, okay, what's your favorite go-to website to look for inspiration? So like, um, you know, I, I follow like Russian magazines, and that's a whole different branch of design or like Japanese website where you can see like inspiration from Japan, uh, the same thing from China. Um, you know, we, we tend to focus only on kind of like our near environment, when in reality, you know, the world is so big and they're different, they understand the internet in a different way as well. You know, hopefully um, there's this um, almost like some people, it's easy to, to like critique or say like, oh my God, everybody's just looking at their phones on the subway. But then you see some of the pictures that, you know, like maybe 50 years ago, everybody was just reading the newspaper in the subway. So in that sense, I think technology is definitely changing us, changing us but not that much. Uh, we, we tend to like, isolate ourselves in our devices, right? As soon as we feel awkward or, you know, we have this half a second in which we're like, we don't know what to do. We just pull the phone and we look the phone right away. I'm, I'm hoping the future is gonna be, it's gonna be this time period where we will actually like, um, you know, resort back to technology, not because we don't know what to do, but because we were looking for something. So like overall, it needs to be more human it is to help you out relate to all the humans um, instead of you know try to isolate you from them. A lot, a lot. So like my first side of the day was actually side of the month. Uh, it was this uh, skate flight. It was an experiment we did at Birio. Um, I I wasn't. I mean, I of course I was familiar with the site, but only as a you know, as like someone that would go for inspiration, but I could see actually when, you know, getting that award that like the traffic went up like crazy and, you know, just like recognition in the community. Uh, it was like a really important factor.